Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today I'm going to be showing you how you can cut something that originally looks like this into something a bit nicer that sort of looks like this. Um, so we'll start off just by creating a layer from background from this image and we'll go ahead and duplicate it just with Control J and then we'll just hide that lower layer and we'll just call that layer. <laughs> And then with this layer, what we're going to do is grab the quick selection tool and we'll just change the brush size with the um, open square bracket and close square bracket. Um, so then we've just selected um, the image that we've got. And now what you might just straight away do, say you've got a little bit of touch ups here, then you might just go control shift I, which just inverts it and then just go control X. Um, however, if we put a background behind it, so if I just add another layer and um, yeah we'll just use blue and if I just hit alt backspace fill that in you can see it's 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 really not very good especially with things that are hairy so if you've got say this image is pretty good but also if you've got someone with um, hair as well um, this definitely works really well for it so we'll just go ahead and undo all of that so with the quick selection tool still selected, then you'll just go ahead and right click and go down to the fourth box, which is refine edge. Now this tool is really good at making um, really great um, refining of the edges. So first of all, we've got these different views. We've, we just hit this little drop down tab. We can see all these different types of views you can see. So you can see like the marching ants, which is the typical quick selection um, view. Um, you've got overlay, which is just a nice sort of uh, transparent red box. You've got on black, on white. Um, you've got black and white. This one's pretty handy just to see the full contrast and just to make that sure that there's not any sharp edges. Um, you've got on layers, which will show what layers is behind it. And then you've got reveal um, layer, which is the first image that you're cutting out from. So I like to use on layers so you can just see what's behind it. Um, but for now, we'll use on white because the white is very... Um, just contrasting to this image. So then you've got show radius and show original. Um, so you can just sort of change the show original to see what difference it's made. And show radius um, is just showing you the radius of the smart radius. Um, so it's just adding that little bit of extra radius. Um, so you want to make sure that smart radius is checked um, and just play around with this radius to see what works best. But for now, we'll just untick that. So in this next box, you've got these adjust edge properties. Um, so the first one is smooth. If I just zoom in, I'll just grab this quickly. Um, and I can just show you what the smooth does. Um, so if you just look at how sharp they are, when you bring up the smoothness, um, it sort of smooths them out, um, as you can see here. Um, so I generally like to use it as zero smooth so you can have the full defining of those ins and outs um, of it um, but obviously if you're looking for a smooth I don't know um, that can be fine for you um, so then we've also got the feather options so that's pretty um, self-explanatory you've got the feathering um, and so the feathering goes inwards um, instead of going outwards so it's not going to go any outwards of what your selection is um, just something to take in mind. However, if you pull it out like 102.7 pixels, say, um, you can bring the shift edge, um, which is another thing I'll show you, and that's adding percentage to it. Um, so say if you wanted something like that for some reason, um, then that would work fine. Um, but generally, you won't really need shift edge. Um, feather, you might want to add just a tiny little bit just to add that little bit of sort of flow, I guess. Um, but yeah, so shift edge, maybe you need to cut it inwards a bit or say you want to add that little bit of background as well. Um, but I generally don't use shift edge. Contrast, um, you can change the amount of contrast that it's viewing between the edge and the outside, I guess. Um, so you can see as we pull up this contrast, it's got a much bigger contrast compared to here. So it's sort of like adding a feather Generally, you'll want contrast on 0% because it'll get the best um, definition, I guess you can say, of the edges. Um, so yeah, 
Um, then we've got decontaminate colors and then also output two. Um, and so output two, generally I like to go with new layer with layer mask. Um, you can also output it to a selection, a layer mask, so it'll be on this layer. Or you can output it to a new layer, um, to a new document as well, and a new document with a layer mask. Um, so generally I go with new layer with layer mask. So that way you've got that original photo in case you ever need to go back to that. So then you can also just tick this remember settings just to keep all of those settings that you had from before. So, um, so what I'm going to go through now is how to actually um, use the tool. So you want to make sure that this little brush is selected and then you can just change the size with these square bracket tools. Um, there we go. And then you just pretty much want to drag around the edges. Um, when you first do it, it'll um, do a pretty good job at trying to figure out where the edges are and what to include and what not to. Um, but you can go around um, and make those nice and smooth and then also you can hold alt um, and you can see that little subtract sign um, and then what you can do is say just drag over something and then in that little area it's going to undo what you've just um, refined so say that wasn't in the original selection so when I went over it with alt and holding down then it um, deleted what had been refined there um, so you can just also go to this Arrays Refinements tool just here if you just click and hold. Um, but generally just holding Alt is a lot easier just for quick um, changes as well. So that looks really good now and um, I'll just hit OK. And now it's just going to create a new layer with a layer mask and then it'll automatically hide that first layer as well. Um, so then we'll just create a new layer underneath it just to see that difference. Um, again, I'll just hit control backspace just to put in that little blue. Um, and now we can see, if we zoom in, it's got a much better definition compared to the first one. Um, you can see that. Um, I know, like, obviously when I'm doing this, um, just quick selection sort of thing, I'm not, like, making it as defined as you could do. I know you could technically go into all of that detail to make this quick selection as good as it possibly can, but Refine Edge tool really does it really well, um, and so you shouldn't need to have to go into all that time when it can just happen in a few seconds. Um, so say if I just do that, Control Shift I and Control X, um, we can see that's really, really bad compared to uh, this. We can just sort of compare them there. It's a big difference. So yeah, obviously I hope you guys got something good out of this and now um, either know that Refine Edge tool is there or are able to use it much better than you're able to and now understand that tool as well. Um, so just quickly, um, you've just got the selection with the quick selection tool. You just right click on the um, image and then go to Refine Edge and it'll bring up this little box. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh.